I couldn't believe some of the stories Fresh was telling me of like what he because he saw it firsthand. Like because mm. he was here in Miami the whole time for the whole bull market. Yeah. And he was just saying like the clubs were just filled with like these dudes that like, like bro, they look like they're eighteen. Mm. Like what are they? And they have they have more money than anybody. Yep. And like now they're like down bad. Like what, there was this like confection that I retweeted on Twitter and stuff. I'll see if I can find it. Or like I would almost want to read this one out. Um, let me just go to my Twitter real quick. It, it is just so incredible. Let me see tweets. Okay, can you show my screen one more time? All right, confessions. I came up from literally zero funds, farming airdrops, and going all in on NFTs. Ran up my funds to several million dollars. Rented supercars, partied in different continents <laughs> every month, and now I've got less than 5000 in my bank account, and I got a Brazilian stripper pregnant. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, sounds like John Anthony. Dude, dude. <laughs> Except for, uh, yeah, probably other details on that one. Yeah. This one just like, god damn. Like, this one went pretty viral. Like, no, like right now, the confessions <laughs> and stuff are pretty low right now, but like, damn. I got, now I got less than $5,000 in my bank account and I got a Brazilian stripper pregnant. <laughs> uh, Twitter. <sighs> <sighs> All right, let's. <laughs> Oof, down bad, guys. Down bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He kind of looks more... <laughs> but, like, th this is what... I, like, there's a bunch of mismanagement of funds. Mm. Now, th so this is something that, like, that people get a lot of value out of our courses and stuff. So throughout, throughout all the crypto mindset courses we've ever done and all the, the things... We've we told people not to quit their day job. Yeah. Now, if it's... If we've had people, like, tell us our kind of things in private, like, if it's, like, an easy move or, like, well, you're moving, like... Your minimum wage, go move to another minimum wage shop. That's mm. like, why are you dealing with that bullshit? Yeah, now, improve your situation. C correct, right? Improve your income streams. Right. If it's very easy for you to do something, like, yeah, do that instead. But but there's some people who are in a very nice position where they are making good yeah. money. And it's like, like. They think the grass is greener on the other side or something. Right. And yeah. it, it's not, it is not easy. Let me tell you that right there. Like, some people are like, who are even good at trading still like feel like they're fucking up because it's like they're they could have had way more crypto if they just had money coming in instead of have to buy and sell crypto off. Mm. You know, it's it's like if you just imagine you just kept the pro, you kept the profits and that didn't roll them and then like I mean you could roll them I'm seeing and then could have grown into something gigantic and stuff. So like the time the time to quit your if you're gonna quit your job in crypto is basically when things are trying to get really hot again. Right. So like and after you've paid your taxes. You, oh, <laughs> what are these taxes you speak of, Charlie? No. <laughs> Just, you know, as a good, you know, law-abiding citizen. Miguel, was that your confession? No, 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 no. <laughs> she, she would have been a Latino. <laughs> <laughs> she would have been. 